true. So as I explained in my previous video, Pascal's triangle helps you expand a binomial a plus b raised to the power n. Now suppose you have a plus b to the power 50. It's going to be really hard to find the Pascal's triangle. Like, how much can you do? Even with a calculator. So it's going to be really cumbersome to take, to take out with the Pascal's triangle. That's why you use the binomial theorem. So, binomial theorem. And I will explain the formula later. Now, basically, n, c, r, a to the power, n minus r, b to the power, r. So let's start with n. So, over here, in a plus b to the power, n, n is the power. Then combination. Most of you will know combination. It is n factorial over n factorial multiplied by n minus r to the whole factorial. So factorial is basically like 2 factorial. 5 factorial will be 5 and a 4 and a 3 and a 2 and a 1. 8 factorial is 8 and a 7 and 6, all the way until into 1. And just as for a fact, 0 factorial is equal to 1. So, now, the R. So, R, so, if you take the second term, R will be 1. Eighth term, R will be 7. So, R is the number 1 less than a term. And if you were to make, like, the 80th term, R would be 79. So, now, a to the power n minus r, that should be pretty simple, and b to the power r. What? Okay. So now, now I just explained you the combinations, the factorials, and the binomial theorem. So now, let's move on towards the, a few of examples. So if you take the first general expression, a plus b to the power n is equal to n c 0 a to the power n b to the power 0 then plus n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 plus n c 2 a to the power n minus 2 b to the power 2 and so on until you get to n c and the last one will be n c n a to the power 0, b to the power n. So now, let's suppose take 4. So first, your first term will be, now I'm only talking about the coefficients. So first term will be 4c0, which is equal to 1. Then next will be 4c1, it will be equal to 4. Then it will be 4c2, which is equal to 6. Then it will be 4c3, which is equal to 4. And then 4c4, which is equal to 1. Now, if you if you guys want to try it out, then you can try it out on your own. But you can use that for any number. So Okay, so yeah. now let's see the binomial theorem in action. So, I'm going to use the same example for 4 to find a plus b to the power 4. So that will be, here's the answer, nc0. So that's 4c0, a to the power 4, b to the power 0, plus 4c1, a to the power 3, b to the power 1, plus 4c2, a to the power 2, b to the power 2, plus 4c3, a1, b3, finally plus 4c4, b to the power, a to the power 0, b to the power 4. Now let's read the problem, but yeah, no, I'm pretty sure you know that n to nc0 is always equal to 1. So that makes our coefficient 1, a4, and you don't need to write b0, this is 1. Plus, now to find 4c1. So, okay, now we're going to find 4c1. So now, 
that will be 4 factorial over r is 1 over here so 1 factorial sorry 1 factorial in a record 4 minus 1 is 3 factorial so now to make it look simpler you just like can cancel so 4 factorial is 4 into 3 factorial or 1 1 factorial is 1 multiply by 3 factorial you can cancel this out 4 over 1 which makes it 4 so now we found this as so this is this that will be 4 a 3 b you're gonna have to write the one now next we're gonna move on to 4 c 2 so 4 c 2 is equal to same formula 4 factorial over 2 factorial in the bracket 4 minus 2 is 2 factorial 2 factorial so now you can do 4 and a 3 and a 2 factorial over 2 factorial and a 2 factorial now you can cancel these two out and then you can even cancel this if you need to and that will get you 6 so now we found our third term 6 a squared b squared now moving on to 4c3 so I, and for 4c1 I forgot to say you don't need to do the method because if you use logic and there are four objects a b c and d there are only four ways you can pick up one and same with 4c4 there's only one way you can pick up all four it's, it'll be different than permutation, but that's, that's how you do combination. So now, moving on to 4C3, it'll be 4 factorial over 3 factorial into bracket. Well, then 1 factorial. Now, as we figured this out before, you don't really need to do it. And so we know that it'll be 4AB cubed. Now, plus, as I... As I told you the logic, you there's only one way you can pick up four things from four objects, it'll be one. So you can write b to the power four. You don't need the one actually over here. Think about it. So now so this is how we find the expansion of a plus b to the power four with the help of the binomial theorem. So let me clean the board and then we'll move on to some examples. So now let's take an example. So let's find the third term of x plus 5 to the power 8. I got to write 9 lines if you had to do with the Pascal triangle, but that's why we're going to use the binomial theorem. As I explained earlier. So now, we see n is 8. C, our third term, 3 minus 1 is 2, so 8C2, A to the power, N minus R, so that's 8 minus 2, which is 6, and B to the power R. So now, to find 8C2, we're going to do 8 factorial, divided by R is 2, 2 factorial, in a bracket, 6 factorial, 6, 8 minus 2. So now, we can write this as 8 into 7 into 6 factorial over 2. 2 factorial is 2 multiplied by 6 factorial. Cancel these out. Simplify. And you will get 28. But hold on. That's not it. We forgot the 5 over here. So now... Yeah, so for now, let's substitute the values so we can write 28 a to the 6th b squared. So now we know a is equal to x, b is equal to 5, and I said 28 x to the power 6, and 5 squared is 25. Try and multiply, this basically means a multiply. So now 28 to 25 is 700 x, x to the 6th. So that our answer is 700 x to the power 6. So let's take one more example. So let's find the 
middle, turn, up, 3x minus 2 to the power of 6. So now, we know. so in order to find the middle term, as I explained in my last video, it's n plus 1 with n being the power. So, there's seven terms, and we all know that fourth term will be the middle. So, now, we're going to find the fourth term, which r will be equal to 3. So, you'll take 6. Now, first, let's close the formula. And we'll take... Sorry. We'll take 6, c, 3, a to the power, 6 minus 3, 3. And b to the power three. So now, well, let me just tell you a thing. The place where the powers of a or b are the same or have a difference of one is the term with the highest coefficient. So here is the same. So coefficients are going to be the highest in the whole expansion. So now, sixty-three will be six factorial divided by 3 factorial and 6 minus 3 is 3 factorial so now we can do 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial upon 3 factorial into 3 factorial cancel these things out so then you have 6 into 5 into 4 3 factorial is 6 cancel cancel you get 20 so now you'll have 20, a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3. Well, hold on, that is not right. We need to now substitute the values. So now, a is equal to 3a, and b is equal to negative 2. Don't forget this negative, it's really important. So, I will do 20 multiplied by 3x to the power of 3 is 27x cubed. And minus 2 to the power 3 is negative 8. So you have negative 160 multiplied by 27x cubed. Negative 160 into 27 is 4,320. So you have negative 4,320 x cubed. That is our answer. Thank you. So we overcome the limitation of the Pascal's triangle by using the binomial theorem. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to subscribe. Bye. Hello, everyone.